Hi sweet friends, welcome back. This is going to be a bubble art activity video. So what you're going to need is some soap. I have dish soap here. And you're going to need a small cup with water. You can use food coloring or liquid watercolors. And of course you're going to need a straw to blow your bubbles. And a paper to blow it in. So what you want to do is we're going to put our cup of water. We're going to go ahead and put a pump of soap. I think this soap works best for making bubbles. And then we're going to go ahead and put what colors you want. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and add the food coloring. drops. I think I'm going to add some pink. And I think I will also add some purple. Ooh, so cool. Okay, and then you take your straw and you mix it all up. bubbles are probably going to just come out purple and then blow in your straw look at the bubbles And then you can move the bubbles and they're going to make a really awesome print on your paper. Isn't that so cool? I love playing with bubbles when it is hot outside. So since it's been warm and we're getting a little bit closer to summer, I thought this would be a fun activity. And then after you're done, you get to pop your bubbles. Pat, 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 pop, 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 pop. And you can do this different times. Um probably didn't have to put all the colors at once like I did but you let it dry the bubbles will pop and when the bubbles pop they're gonna leave that really cool bubble print okay and it's just a really fun watercolor activity well friends I hope you had fun and I'll see you at the next video bye okay and if you just blow all the bubbles separately outside and you kind of stamp your paper on top of the bubbles like that and just pop them pop them as you put your paper on top you get this really cool pattern I think both look very cute and you can try whichever one you like Well, I'll see you at the next video. Bye, friends.